Now with XAPI comes some new vocabulary. Let's use this as a, a metaphor here, and uh, this guy cracks me up, right? He's uh, very intently looking at his science, and he's got no personal protective equipment whatsoever. Uh, love that stock art. So let's look at some vocabulary. Learning record provider is what sends data. In an e-learning context, it's your e-learning course. The course in a SCORM world sends those SCORM data transactions to your learning management system. In an XAPI world, it's going to send XAPI statements, right? So it's going to send data. It, but think in XAPI, right? We're talking more than e-learning. So we could be talking about videos or checklists or um, Internet of Things devices or um, systems that have a system. I call them systems of work, systems that store the results of our work, like salesforce.com or um, SAP or a manufacturing control system or something, right? That, that is keeping track of what I as a worker am doing. Um, I have my content and for sake of argument right now, let's say the content doesn't change. Um, I would like to think that if you have better data, you are evaluating better and your content over time will change. However, for the sake of argument, you have your content. Your content is your content. And you are um, formatting, as you're sending the data, you are formatting that, um, that data as XAPI sentences, those statements. They're the, the, the grammatical sentences uh, that we have all agreed to follow these rules to send data. And I use profiles, which are, think of them more like dictionaries. This is what I'm, I'm talking about video. This is what pause means. When I talk about reflection, this is what pause means. So I can use pause in the same um, con two different contexts as long as I'm referencing the appropriate dictionary or the appropriate profile. And I'm dropping off data in these little statements and they're going drip, 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 drip. By and large, most people are going to think of and use XAPI as a transactional system like this. Um, so I'm just dropping data into a pile. Um, that pile is called a learning record store. Think about if, if this guy weren't holding a beaker, He's just dropping things out of his pipette. It just falls out a little over the floor and makes a big mess and it's completely and utterly unusable. Right? So people say, do I need a learning record store to do XAPI? Only if you want to catch your data. <laughs> so yes, you need a learning record store. And you probably have other data. You have old e-learning data. You have other business data. You have other things in the swim there that you'll need to reconcile and work with. So the other thing I want you to think about, though, is look at that pipette. It can be used to drip, 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 drip data in, but this guy could just as easily reach that pipette into the beaker, pull that out, and suck data out and use that to then change what happens in the learning experience now that it is informed by data about this person and their performance in the, from the learning record store. So some new terminology, nothing's terribly hard here, uh, and this is enough to get you started using XAPI.